Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy. We don't need no roll for today, bro, because today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys the best deck in Massive Duel. If you guys are ready this video, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button. I want you guys to click the like button, but smash the subscribe button harder. And even harder than both of those, smash the Patreon, baby, so you guys can get even better at the game. Lastly, check out the playmats down in the description below. And now, without further ado, let's begin, baby. YouTube, I have a question for all of you. YouTube, Twitch, I have a question for everybody. Master Duel is a best of one, right? It's a best of one. So instantly, when you come, what deck comes in your mind? as a deck that is so unstoppable in game one that the only way to defeat this deck is with side decking what's the first deck that comes to mind that the only way to defeat a deck is if you draw the side cards to do it now you guys are going ahead and you're saying a bunch of decks aside from the obvious pendulum 10 negates also keep in mind that everyone else understands this and there's also other decks out there like vfd spiral uh emancipator they all put up five negates four negates just like pendulums right all right that's fine which deck doesn't give a flying fuck about vfd which deck doesn't give a flying fuck about a five negate board where half of those negates are only monster negates what deck can only be defeated with a lightning storm and an evenly match and a feather dust and a red reboot what deck will never face any of those cards what's the actual best deck of master duel i can't believe i'm saying it but in a best of one series the best deck in master duel in a best of one series with no side decking no evenly no lightning storm doesn't give a fuck about vft doesn't care about maxi doesn't care about maxi elich is back baby elich is back baby we are building elich because elich is the most underrated does not care about maxi does not care about about virtual max uh, bro, vft does not care about go about evenly matching lightning storm and feather duster there's only one simple answer elich cannot be defeated in master duel elich cannot be defeated in master duel elich cannot be defeated in master duel let me say it for all the people in the back elich cannot be defeated in master duel now i'm not telling you to play don't play no garbage Alex synchro with needle fiber please don't do that please don't do that no 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 we are going to be building a lich with 37 trap cards very simple very simple i'm in fact i'm removing this i'm removing this i might even remove maxi i might even remove maxi we're removing everything i don't want l land either i just want no a lich is truly unstoppable not the garbage ways to do it but heavy 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 traps a lich is not good Elich is not good. Elich is great. Elich is not even great. Elich is the best deck in Master Duel. It's not even close. Simply because of there's no siding. There's no siding. Now, everyone knows that the only way to beat Elich is if you Lightning Storm and Red Reboot or Feather Dust. No one's playing this because no one is playing these cards because it is very simply, it is a uh, monster meta where you're scared of getting Maxi. You're getting, like, this deck does not give a fuck about Maxi. The most you're ever going to get value off of Maxi is Scarlet and Conquistador. Sure, you're drawing one. I don't care. You're drawing one, but you're still losing the duel. That's that. That's that, boys. It, it, it's truly unstoppable. And today, we're going to build this deck. It is the best deck by far. In fact, I mean, I haven't lost. I have not lost yet. I have not lost yet in Master Duel with Pendulums. Master Duel. Uh, Pendulums is also uh, absolutely incredible in Master Duel. But we also have to keep in mind that... All the other crazy decks, uh, look, at the end of the day, if my opponent has Maxi, we're going to lose a lot of games to Maxi with, with Pendulums. We could go Baguska pass and pray that that's enough, and maybe it will be enough, but they're going to draw two from Baguska, and they're going to have six, seven cards to try and beat one Baguska. I expect these decks to be able to do that, especially when you get to higher level, higher ranking. So how do you avoid VFD? What happens if I lose a dice roll and I don't draw Maxi with Pendulums? What, what, what happens if I do that? Well, let me tell you, I get Maxi'd by my opponent. I get VFD my by opponent. At Manspader put out six negates. Spiral puts up six negates. We could break boards. We could break three three interruption boards. We, we eat for breakfast. If my opponent is playing against me and puts up three a three interruption board, Pendulum eats it for breakfast. Elich does not care about four interruptions even because these in, five interruptions because these interruptions are not omni negates. These interruptions are always mostly monster negates. Appaloosa, uh, the monster negate. I forgot it's called uh, the the rock monster that sucks that's fat guys no i don't think you guys understand elich is by far the best deck 
it's not even remotely close on master duel for those specific reasons so now youtube now that i explained the reason why i'm gonna go ahead and build this this uh, my list is something remotely close to this i'm gonna fix up no uh, dogmatica cards because we just want we want to make sure going second we defeat all these stuff uh don't play no garbage synchro bullshit no 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 you need to make sure that when you face the combo decks that all you could do is set five that's how you break them that's why it's so powerful so i'm gonna build some version of this i'll get you i'll talk to you guys when i finish i'm gonna whale hard right now so twitch chat if you guys want to donate i'll appreciate it i'm about to spend this right now i'm going to show you guys why this is the best deck by far by a landslide bar none youtube i'll see you guys when the deck is done no strike and judgment and warning i'll come in ariane pack I mean, we might as well. All right, chat. We need some URs in here. All right, chat. We got to play gimme, gimme, gimme URs. I don't want no SRs. Actually, I don't mind SRs because SRs, we're just going to... We need SRs for the deck, for the traps. That was broken! Oh, that was insane. Holy, we got solemn judgment, solemn strike, even warning, and a bunch of other SRs and yours, and a Nessie for later. That was nice. That was nice. We are insane. Yo, skip just has to be broken. Yo, are these all, are these shiny ones you are as boys? Whoa! Holy shit, bro! Another solemn judgment, another solemn strike, two extra URs, six more SRs. Yo, we are insane. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, YouTube. This is our Elich deck profile. Uh, it's extremely insane in this meta. I'm telling you guys, we're playing 43 cards because I want to play three Scarlet, one. Black Awakening and three Wakero, three Golden Land, making ten in total. I don't want to open like three of them. I don't want to play Curse of Land by playing the Black Awakening and a random Wakero. It allows your engine to keep going on and on and on and on for longer. Focusing on Needle Ceiling, I'm only playing Solemn in the main because I do fear a random Lightning Storm main deck from people who got the bundle. So having four outs to their one is still better. Multiple Flood Gates for going second, like Skill Drain goes in rivalry they're all for going second as well not don't play emptiness because it's not for going second this third attic nister is not real this third attic nister should be uh ningirsu or a unicorn but i ran out of ur gems uh two entes i would maybe play three if i had another ur gem but i was just that short on ur gems that uh, i was missing that so the third attic nister two nitis and two attic nister is fine that's totally fine trust me attic nister is so insane people don't even realize Two and two is good. Make the third Adagnister, though, a Unicorn or a uh, Ningirsu. You get Ningirsu for free while playing solo mode. This is the deck. Let's go now. Time to clap up rank. This is the most underrated deck in all of the entirety of Master Duel. Simply for the fact that my opponent cannot side evenly Lightning Storm, Belly Dust, or Red Reboot against me. Because there's only a best of one. This deck is broken in best of ones. Uh, it doesn't care about Maxi. It, it's best of, crazy and best of ones. Doesn't care about Maxi. It doesn't care about VFD, which is the biggest reason. That's why we don't play Dogmas. We don't care about VFD. We just set five and destroy their ass into oblivion. Those three reasons. Doesn't matter if you lose a dice roll or win the dice roll. We build a deck to have all traps for going second that blow up big ass boards. Uh, every other deck is useless. This is the best deck this format. It's the most underrated deck this format. And it's budget as heck. Now, let's get straight into dueling. Hope you guys enjoyed the YouTube video. If you guys got this far, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button. Also, make sure to go check out my Patreon. Because at Patreon, we're going to be showcasing every single deck in action. Especially this one live. Every single day. Lots and lots and lots and lots of gameplay everywhere on Patreon. Also, if you guys love Elich, I do have the most beautiful Elich playmat. So go check that out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys next video. Peace.